Marcelo. Now, uh, following following from uh, uh, my broadcast yesterday, I will continue working uh, today, this morning actually, uh, with uh, Revit families, right? Uh, specifically, uh, families that involve parameters. So, we, so <clears throat> this today um, we are the idea is to work around this uh, planter it's called the Sarno round planter by also the restoration hardware um, let's take a look a little bit of the, what you're trying to get uh, what we're trying to achieve here so this is a planter I think it's uh, some sort of concrete planter and as you can see here comes in uh, two different sizes right comes in two different sizes um, so that's what we're gonna try to do in here now um, so how we're gonna do this one well basically uh, to create this planter we're not gonna be able to use uh, yesterday we used a lot of uh, the extrusion right the extrusion remember basically what it does is to take a shape and it projected so it creates something like this so if you take a circle and you extrude it basically what you're gonna get is a cylinder right now this is different because this is more is, this has a, like a conic shape right so extrusion is not gonna work for us in this situation so we're gonna have to use something else uh, there's um, something called blend uh, on the creation panel right so it basically what allow me to do is to create two shapes and connect them so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a smaller circle then a bigger circle and we're gonna connect them so to create this conic shape but in addition to that if we do this one uh, what we're gonna get is a, a cone right so but we need this cone to be actually hollow so you can accommodate uh, the earth right uh, this actually goes like this so it's all of this is uh, with soil or whatever so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to work with what we call a void so we're first going to get our uh, bend right here and then what we're gonna have to do is to create another one just like this one only thing smaller it's going to be a boy a boy is pretty much like a hole right so the boy a boy there's a number of different ways to see it is uh, like uh, a negative volume I don't know if that makes any sense or anything but it's like a negative volume so the moment you put this volume inside this one it basically would uh, subtract this one the void from the first one creating a hole okay um, for those that are familiar with 3d max uh, or AutoCAD 3d or this kind of software is uh, very similar to what we call booleans right um, in which we uh, Boolean separation are uh, allow me to um, uh, subtract volumes, uh, intersect volumes, and number of or operations. This is not quite a Boolean, but I guess it's close enough. So uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a bend, then we're gonna do another bend, but this time it's gonna be a boy, so we cut a hole into it. And in the middle, we're gonna have to create a number of parameters that control basically um the radius from the top the radius from the bottom and the height of my uh of my planter so then later on when i bring it into my project uh, into my different projects i can get to choose between uh planter number one or planter number two okay so that's the plan for uh today so we're gonna start working with it we don't need to bring the picture or anything like we did last time uh, we just need to take a look at the dimensions a little bit so this is 18 diameter 18 high and the base is 10 okay uh, I guess we can work in uh, I guess we can work in inches so now well, let's work in millimeters I want to do this in millimeters so let's just do this in millimeters okay so 18 is the diameter and 18 is the height 
and then 10. So let's do the reconversion here. So 18 times uh, 2.50, round up this thing. That's 45, okay, 450. That's going to be the diameter and that's going to be the height. Okay, it comes in a number of different, uh, actually more than come one, two, three, four, five, like six, diff six different sizes. So you're going to try two or three, maybe. So this is 45, it's also 45, and then uh, let's see, 10. I suspect that 25. So let's start it. We're going to start it with this one. We're going to start with a, um, let me see. Yeah. Ah, there you go. So we're going to start with this one. It's going to go 450, the high, no, sorry, uh, 250 the high. Then, um, no, I just. So, 450, the height. The diameter is also going to be 450, and the diameter from the base is going to be 250. So that's what we're going to do initially, okay? So 450, 450, 250. Now, for the inside, um, I don't know. We don't have that information in here, but um, I guess we're going to go with 20 centimeters. I want to make this very thick, right? So the thickness of the walls, let's make it uh, 20 millimeters. And the base here, I want to make it a little bit thicker, right? So maybe I can go 40 millimeters, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. 450 height, uh, the diameter 450, and the diameter of the base is going to be uh, 250. Now the thickness of this wall is going to be 20 and the thickness of the base, let's make it 40 just in case. Uh, so that's the plan, but at least we're going to start with this. Let me get rid of all of this and just like yesterday, uh, I'm going to go into my Revit and start a family, right? So let's go into Revit this here, close this. And right here, as soon as you open Revit, you get project, you get family, we're going to start working on a family. So and also it's gonna be a new family. Let's go for it. Now, uh, I'm going to start with a generic model. I think it's the uh, best way to start generic model. Generic model, hit okay. Now we're in business. So that's a generic model. Now, as usually, you land on the floor plan or the top view, or the top view, right? This is going to be a furniture, so I think it's more appropriate to top view. So you landed in the top view. Uh, 